Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to install the Genesis framework from Studio Press on your WordPress installation at NameHero. Now we're known here at NameHero for high speed cloud um, redundant WordPress web hosting. So if you don't have a WordPress host or if you need a, a better one that's a lot faster, come check us out, check us out at NameHero.com. We'd love to have you and I believe you'd be really impressed at um, how fast we make your site. Okay, to get started here, I've got um, the StudioPress theme examples up here. So if you're not familiar, head over to StudioPress.com and take a look at all their themes. They're some of my favorite. Um, you'll notice the Name Hero blog even uses this one here, the passive income one. Um, but there's all kinds of really good themes, and, and the reason why I like StudioPress is they're cleanly designed. Um, they're made with the... Um, the business in mind. Um, so they're coded really well. You don't see the poor coding practices that you see from a lot of other WordPress template vendors. Now, if you're going to go with a template, in my opinion, you cannot go wrong with anything StudioPress puts out there. And I think a lot of WordPress developers will tell me this, tell you the same thing. I know a lot of developers that will um, take these themes and modify them for you. So if you want to have your own custom spin, they'll do that instead of developing your own thing. And using the Genesis framework, it makes it a lot easier to keep updated. So that's kind of the attractive thing um, about Genesis and, and um, how it works. So I'm going to show you um, an example of how to install the framework and then also how to install the theme. So let's talk about it here. I've got an account set up here and um, you can see as soon as I log in to the Studio Press account, I'll have three options. And one's the sample Genesis sample, so we're going to ignore that right now. Next is my theme, the Centric Pro. That's the one I just purchased. Um, and then Genesis, the framework that actually goes to it. So it's a little bit different than other WordPress themes because you actually have to install the framework and then you install the theme. So that's why I wanted to record a video so I could show how easy it really is because it does seem a little bit um, confusing when you're talking about actually installing uh, frameworks. So let's um, talk about this. Let's go or let's go over here and download the framework first. So the first thing we're going to do is click download and this is going to download it to our download folder. So right here. Next, we want to go over to our WordPress installation. Um, this one here I've set up. It's a brand new WordPress site. Uh, so this is what it looks like as soon as you come from the one-click installer. So if you're using us at Name Hero, you know you go into cPanel and you go to the one-click WordPress installer. And then from there, as soon as you go through those steps, you'll be brought here to your WordPress dashboard. So we want to go to Appearance and we want to go to Themes. So when we click that, we're going to see that it's using the default WordPress theme right now. And these are other default ones. But we want to add a new one. So we'll click Add New. Whoops, I'm sorry. We'll click Upload Theme because we want to upload the new theme. So we're going to go here and we're going to go into our Downloads folder. And we're going to get that framework. Now we can just keep the zip file. Don't worry about the unzipped. You just want the zip one. Click Open and Install Now. Okay, so you can see that was pretty painless. It's... Um, it went pretty quickly. So I can even activate it. And you'll see if we go to our site now, we're going to notice it's just very generic. Um, but this is the actual just framework for Genesis to operate. So we still have to go back and install the theme that we purchased. So I'm going to go back to themes. And um, we're going to confirm it's there. And so you can see that uh, please activate a Genesis child theme. We notice you're using the Genesis framework parent theme alone. We strongly recommend that you run a child theme. Uh, we have a free theme that you can use. Um, so they, they don't want you to use this as an active theme. You want to use this as your framework. Kind of imagine this as the outline of the site. And then everything that goes inside of it is going to go through what they call a child theme. So we're going to click Add New. Or actually we want to go back to our theme press or Studio Press rather, and grab our theme. So the Centric Pro, click download. Go back into Add Themes over here, click Upload Theme. Choose a file, and we'll get, grab that Centric Pro, open, and install now. Okay, so now we're going to activate that one. Okay, so now you can see um, we're on Genesis 2.5, and we can see all the cool stuff about it. But if we go back to themes now, we're going to see this is our default theme. This is what, what we're using now. And you can see the Genesis framework is still here, but it's not active. Now, if I click my blog, you can see... Um, I've now installed the theme that I've purchased. Now you'll notice it's not like the def it's not like the design that they have on their website, and that's because we have to go through and upload some dummy data they call it or sample data to set up our pages like they have this set up. But the first thing you have to do is at least get it installed. And so if you look in Studio Press, they have a nice little um, guide of everything I just did. But as you can see, it was really just navigate to two files and then upload them, and there you go. 
So, um, so back into here, um, what we can do is we can import um, the sample data. And so there'll be instructions if you click set up instructions on the theme that you purchased, because you might have a different Genesis theme than the Centric Pro. Um, but you can scroll down here, and this is actually going to walk you through step by step how to make it look like the example. Um, so we've already covered the theme installation. So now we'd want to actually want to do to the import the demo content, and then we would want to go through all these options. So for your convenience, an exported file of the uh, Centric Pro demo is available to assist you. The file can be found um, inside of the zip here and at this link here. So they've got a whole tutorial on this, and you can just click it and go through it to make it look like the site that you, or the theme that you purchase. Now, um, that's, it, it just depends how advanced you are. If you want to just install their sample data or dummy data, they call it, and then edit it, then go for it. Now, if you're a developer or you already know your way around Genesis, then just hop into your admin area here and start customizing. You can click on the customize there, um, but you'll notice if you go into Genesis here and theme settings, there's a ton of different things you go through here. Um, there's your SEO settings, and then, of course, you have the customize screen here that you're used to in WordPress. So you have all these areas, but like I said, if you want it to look like um, how it is on the Genesis site, you have to go through um, all their steps here on how to import and how to customize it. But um, really, it's that quick and easy to actually install the theme. Now, configuring the theme, that you know, that's going to take you a little bit of time, but um, it's not an unmanageable task. Just allow some time to do it. Uh, but let us know if you have any questions. We're more than happy to install the framework and to install the theme for you. Now, obviously, we can't customize it for you, um, but we can definitely get it set up on our hosting and uh, make sure that you're all good to go with that. So if, let us know if you have any questions, open a ticket, give us a call or um, shoot us a live chat. Thanks so much, everyone.